Sub knife people, back again with more of these knives. Quick look at this MKM Izonzo in a Hawkbill M390, full copper scales. Starting to pick up that patina. Looking nice, Vox design. Really cool little fidgety knife. Really digging it. So go check them out, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, new subs old subs uh just ready to give you guys some more knife content so thank you for tuning in um little bummer i had already started the video my unboxing um but my phone decided to shut off so uh, i'm gonna restart the video and uh show you what i got the unboxing today was from blade hq i got this pocket gum boy from silky it was a handsaw. This was one of the purchases. Really nice, kind of like particle wood or something like that. Nice, like patinaed blade. Got that lock there. So for those of you that know hand saws, it's a really popular model. This is just a new addition with a different type of scale or handle. So really nice, I'll get into that and some more comparisons uh, with another saw I have like this one, the, the Felco 600. Again, I use these a lot for work. So kind of like I'll show you some comparisons in live action, how they look against each other size wise. We'll do some of that at a later time. So just so you have an idea what I got today. Uh, but we got a lot to get into, so I'm going to keep going. So again, the pocket gum boy from Silky. Go check them out. Blade HQ has them right now. Uh, and second of all, I got this uh, fixed blade. Uh, minimalist. Little cleaver and dark earth and green OD, OD green G10. Nice little cleaver shape. Uh, folds design with uh, some finger grooves there. And actually, they're pretty big, so you lock in very well. Kind of a three finger, plus that lanyard helps you out. So, really cool, nice and comfortable. Retention on the sheath is really good. So, like that. Um, oh, also, shout out to Jersey. I got this the channel sticker. Um, got it in the mail from South Jersey. It was funny, half of this was ripped off. I asked my wife if she had opened it and she said, no, but whoever's thinking of you in Jersey better cut it out. But hopefully it was all in there. It was a note and a sticker. So thank you to Jersey. Shout out, bud. Thank you, man. But let's get into this, keep going. Give you a quick little cut test. See how it cuts. Ooh. It is D2. You can tell, nice and sharp. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. Very beautiful, yeah. So very nice cutting out of the box, straight from the factory. That's a plus. Nice and comfortable. Let's, uh, let's get a little weight for it right here. See what it weighs without the sheath. Looking at 1.9. And if we guys stick around, I got a little surprise at the end. With the sheath, 2.5. So that's very minimalist. As the knife says, for a nice little neck carry. Pretty cool. Now let's get into some more specifics. I'll give you some measurements measure it out here so you're looking at a two inch cutting 
a little bit over for overall length for the blade about five and a quarter inches there or eighth so pretty decently small knife size whatever i said right now <laughs> uh now let's compare it with some knives oh and this is the just for eye candy the copper top microtech utx in a spartan blade 85 just to kind of go with the copper stuff so here we go some more neck knives this is a little small sc candy room this is my daughter's little fixed blade that she uses but you can definitely use this as a neck knife also you just change the carabiner to the cord so cool little small fixed blade that'll work show you the comparison there what else do i got i have another small little mtech usa little fixed blade again neck knife carry hollywood where are you i've been wanting to give this to you get a hold of me this looks like a little bk becker little fixed blade knife neck carry so let's check these out pretty cool some nice little small full tang knives there for neck carry if you're wondering about my nice little tie dye hang my daughter did that that's what we were doing last week so yeah shout out to her thank you baby cool little hank there for the set also i'll show you i got a couple more neck knives here these are some lt rights or i carry them as neck knives this is the, I believe it's a Tautog in a Scandi ground, kind of sheep, uh, sheep leaf shape. My car to handle, orange liners, kind of a thick, rounded handle with a nice little finger groove there. Beautiful micarta, but nice and handful but you can use it as a neck knife also or on a belt so that's the tautog i got another lt right here that i also use as a neck knife this one i cut the loop off so this one is a little muck and OD green, two-tone, polished, orange liners, and the patina job by myself. A little mock guilty right. Let's show you these. Check those out. So you got a lot of different varieties there for carrying that carry. Pretty sweet. What else I got? I also have another LT right here. This is a little bit more of a tactical type knife. Uh, it's called the Stealth. And it kited it flat kydex pancake sheath with a carbon fiber scale or a chunk of carbon fiber or block really. Skeletonized D2 harpoon blade. A little bit more of a medium size knife so you can go up a little bit bigger in size you see four finger grip there so yeah this is the lt right stealth and what else i got um oh actually i was going to show you these also you see rkt fixed blades that you can use as a neck knife. This is for a, like a belt loop where you tug it on your, you know, attach to your belt loop and just pull it out. This is the CRKT Akari and Akachi. If 
I'm saying it right. And these Japanese inspired blades with the cord wrap. This one inspired one of my fixed blades also. I'll show you right now. So this is kind of the brethren. I'll show you in a second. It's a little bit bigger size fixed blades for neck carry. And actually, I'll put this LT right down and I'll show you the other one. I gave these away over the years. You can see it's two different styles. One's an upswept blade and one's a downswept blade. So these are CRKT knives. And I think they still carry them and still have them. You can definitely use them as neck knives. More neutral handles. Pretty cool. Go check them out. They're pretty inexpensive also. They're about 25, 30 bucks. Sometimes even on sale. But that inspired my BGM knife with the same kind of cord wrap green. With the, again, with the same inspiration of using it as a neck knife or as a loop, belt loop carry. That's my BGM knives, Junko by John. So really cool in Z wear. Actually, I'll put that up there. Dun, dun, dun. And I see this is another way to carry a neck knife also. Let me show you. You can even use a cord for like any kind of Alox Pioneer that comes with this little loop here. And you can have that dangling on your neck also. So that's another neck knife there. Let's see what that looks like. Let's open it up. And of course, you got your nice. So just another idea for a neck knife carry. Check that out. And of course, you'll have more tools with it. So there you go. I mean, that's pretty much all the neck knives I work with. And this is a Pioneer X model. up here that's where I leave it for when I need it and there you go that's the BGM fixed blade so there we go and that's kind of the little rundown on this minimalist CRKT again false design cleaver and D2 steel so really awesome, really comfortable, nice and sharp. So definitely a good little neck knife if you're interested in the neck knife arena. So now that we got that out the way, finally, uh, I wanted to do a uh, redraw for the Concept Cryo that was never claimed. The winner was James Hires. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, never got a hold of me. Hope he's okay. If anybody knows him, let him know what happened. That he won and never got a hold of me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a redraw real quick of this. So for those that stuck around, lucky for you, I'm gonna put this away right here on the side. And we're gonna do the redraw for the concept. And again, I'm gonna go off the original list, which had the original people, front and back. And again, James Hires, I don't know what happened, but we'll find out soon enough. So guess who's back? Mr. Peeps in the fishbowl. We'll put him here to the side. Oh yeah, and shout out to Gary too, the last ranger. He got to his thousand mark. Seems like we're all bum rushing that thousand mark at the same time. So thank you for the community for making it all happen. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do another little quick shuffle here. Dropping stickers everywhere. 
I'm gonna do another quick little shuffle. And uh, let's see here. I'll shuffle all these down here. A lot of entries this time in a small little bowl. We'll see who won this concept. Not, I'm gonna keep it if you guys don't claim it. You know I like my jade and black scales. Alright, so here we go. Put this in here. There's none on the bottom. That's it. Let's give it one last little shuffle. Alright. We're all good. So here we go. I'm gonna close my eyes now. I'm gonna go ahead and pick one. Right here. This one right here. Here we go. It's a bite of the fishbowl. Who's that? Number number 56. So let's see who number 56 is. And look, it's not on the ground. So everybody was in there that stuck around. But that didn't win last time, number 56. First page, number 56. Here we go, Anthony Green. Congratulations, Anthony Green, get a hold of me. I'm gonna give you those 48 hours, so uh, please do so, and the concept is yours. So again, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for sticking around to the end for this last little you know, redraw. And as always, if you guys like the knife content, stick around for more of these knives these knives and as always keep calm carry your knives and i'll catch you guys on the flip side have a good one bam get a hold of me anthony